Jenga is a game of coordination where players take turns removing one block at a time from a tower constructed of blocks. Each block removed is then placed on top of the tower, creating an increasingly taller and more unstable structure. Jenga is a great game for kids and adults too for building a variety of skills. Let us now look at the different ways Jenga can be played to build these different skills. Jenga is a brilliant way to improve concentration as the kids have to focus and concentrate to build the structures and whenever they make a move. It makes them to think strategically and make decisions every time they make a move. It develops fine motor skills as the game automatically enhances hand-to-eye coordination. The aim of this game to, is to teach the kids the importance of being patient, whether they play by themselves or with the parent or bunch of other kids. Have the kids build some simple structures using the Jenga blocks. They could start with something as simple as a cube, cuboid or even a pyramid then move on to building slightly more complex structures such as a small house or a castle or even a bridge. First, this brings out their creativity. And then, most importantly, it fosters teamwork as they have to work together to make decisions and build the structure. It may also encourage the younger kids to ask for help if they need it. Asking for help is a great social skill to have and it might be a great opportunity for parents or teachers to help the kids learn the skill while playing this game. Emotions Jenga is a fun game you can play with kids to teach them about emotions. When kids have a better emotional vocabulary, they are better equipped to deal with the difficult emotions when life throws curveballs at them. You can find a colored Jenga game or simply stick some colored stickers to represent the five basic emotions. I then pre-wrote some 15 to 20 questions for each emotion. Some of the questions ask the players to describe a time when they felt that emotion or make a face showing that emotion, give a real life situation to solve problems, etc. Then you're just ready to play. Just follow the normal rules of Jenga. When someone pulls a block, the kid also answers a question related to the corresponding emotion based on the color of the sticker on the block. When the tower falls over, start the game over. It is really enjoyable to play this with the kids and can lead to some deep conversations about some of the struggles they have with processing emotions. Have the kids set up dominoes with the Jenga blocks. You will see that the kids get so excited. They'll put in relentless effort till they get it right. Uh, let them decide their own patterns. Helps improve their critical thinking, uh, their concentration and definitely their patience.